Hello, and welcome to the Lark's Nest News, where we take a few minutes out of our day to bring you a news update. I'm Taylor. And I'm Rebecca. Today we will talk about children's temperaments and personalities when it comes to separation of the family. In this case I will talk about, it's separation from a mother and child. This story is about a boy named Enrique. His mother left him and his sister when he was only three. He didn't get into much trouble the first couple of years when he was living with his grandmother. But once people rejected him over and over again, his mother being the first and the worst, his personality started to change. He was into drugs and trouble. His temperament went from not caring to hot-headed and quick to anger. His story goes on to him attempting to illegally immigrate to the USA seven times before being successful. By the time he found his mother, he resented her so much that it was almost impossible for him to have a normal relationship with her. He and her finally compromise, but when Enrique's girlfriend finally decides to join him in the USA, she leaves behind their daughter, only starting the cycle over again. This boy's story has been turned into a bestseller by Sonia Nazario, called Enrique's Journey. According to a research paper sponsored by McGill University, many people immigrate to the United States because they have trouble meeting their basic needs in their home countries. Many adults leave their children behind in hopes of making money to send back to them. But that separation can have negative effects on their children. Parental engagement in their children's education improves their achievement and even though sending money back may help the child, that money is only significant to the child during the primary school years. After that, they tend not to care about school or seek additional schooling. Furthermore, according to the textbook Exploring Lifespan Development, Sigmund Freud believed that the psychological health and maladjustment could be traced to the early years, in particular, to the quality of the child's relationship with their parents. We now take you to our own Carly, who sat down with Junior Orenville, a current Heston College student. Junior lived in Haiti in an orphanage after his mother could not afford to take care of him. What age were you first separated from your family? I was three. That's when I moved away. Okay, and um, you ended up in an orphanage, correct? Well, um, before the orphanage, I was living with my godmother, which is my dad's cousin. Right, how did you end up in the orphanage? Okay, the reason why I was there is because, like, um, you know, when she, when you live in the city, it's more expensive. And then my godmother, I have five five kids. I was the sixth one. So and then so it's it's gonna get a little bit more expensive, you know, to do take care of like a bunch of kids over there and then she have a friend that's no longer that's work at the orphanage and then the friend told her about it and she was like yeah sure I'll put them there and then I check on him if he's doing good I'll let him say but if not I'll take him back so that's how I end up in there and then she come visit doing good go to school okay so you got to attend school and yes yes, yes. while you were there and get an education mm -hmm, yeah okay. did you have any other siblings I have 11 siblings. 11 siblings? And how many are older? Um, two of them are younger than me. Two of them are younger. Yeah. Um, and were they also put in the orphanage? or no, okay. just me. Okay. The only one that was gone. Okay. And they were who were they staying with? Um, they were staying with my mom. Your mom? Yep. Yeah. Um, how did you first feel when you were separated from them and put in the orphanage? Well, um, I was already away from them, but like when I was with my godmother, I didn't feel you know I didn't feel bad with it because like my best friend in high school he was always already moved there a week before I was there and then so once I get there and then you know we already know each other so we get along pretty good and there's a lot of like all the kids and that was nice. So. Did you ever feel like lonely or separated when you first went to the orphanage? No, because. My family has always come visit. They so, would visit? Yeah. Last summer, you went to visit your siblings, correct? Um, That was in the summer. Okay. And how did it feel when you got to meet them again? Well, it's it's a lot different because, like, um, some of them I didn't recognize. They didn't. Some of them didn't recognize me, too. So, you know, it's like kind of some kind of adventure, you know, figure stuff out. Kind of like you going in a, it's a journey thing. Yeah. You know, you just go and then finds what you think that's belong to you or anything like that. Like how do you think it's affected like how you the person you are today? Well, I don't think it's really it I think it's a good thing, you know, what I mean it's a good thing, it's really kinda it's really help, you know, being away from them, you know, looking for something else. So which is which is pretty good. You never know, probably 
lid on. That's probably what I'm gonna use to, you know, to help them. So. Um, and also, after I know when you were in the orphanage, you said your family would come and visit you. Um, so how was it when you then came all the way to the United States, and you don't get to see your family? Does that get hard sometimes? Well, yes, it wasn't hard at first, but it was hard. After, it was hard um, after I went in June to visit, and then the way I see them, I didn't like the way they were leaving. So when I get back, it was kind of hard. So that was that's one of the reasons why I made a second trip in July, spend the whole July with them, come back and. Thank you so much for allowing us to interview you, and we appreciate it a lot. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a story. Yes. Although Junior's mother did not leave him so she could immigrate to the United States, she left him in an orphanage in hopes that Junior would be able to attain a better life because she could not afford to take care of him herself. Junior's story is very hopeful, and quite the opposite of Enrique's from Enrique's journey. And from all of us here at the Lark's Nest News, thank you and good day. Oh, <laughs>